Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. In this video, I'm going to create a compliant, not a compliant, but a configuration policy to rename my devices that are managed in Intune. So, for example, I have a few devices that are being managed by Intune, as you can see here. 005, 006, and also um, 010, 011, and Men of Steel. And it looks like 011, it's not be, it's not compliant at this time. So I'm going to rename all these devices to with a prefix of maybe I call it um, cloud or whatever and then um, the name should be the prefix and then the serial number of the computer so for example now let's take a look at 005 as you can see here is the serial number and if you go back to 006 and the serial number is also different. So first of all, I'm going to need to create a security groups for all these devices. Let's go to groups. I'm going to create a new groups. It's going to be security groups. Let's give it a name. Call this computer. name so it has to be actually you can call it anything you want here just call it computer rename and the descriptions is not required the membership type it's going to be dynamic device Owners, you can add owners or you can skip this step. The add dynamic queries, let's click on that. So now let's look for add an ex click on add expressions. Oops, sorry, add it here. So now let's choose the property type. It's going to call, um, it's going to, I'm looking for the display name. Choose an operator. It's going to start with, I'm going to choose start with. Start with the going to be Windows 10 so all my devices are Windows 10 and let's go back here to the company port, um, device management I just want to show you all devices So it's going to start with Windows 10, as you can see here. And they are managed by Intune. So I don't want to rename computer that are being co-managed. So let's go back here. Start with Windows 10. I'm going to add an expressions. It's going to be N and the choose the property. It's going to be it's going to be a device manage type. Manage type. Choose an operating operator. 
it's going to be equals to add a value so it's going to be MDM that means it's managed by Intune so as you can see here the display name will start with Windows 10 and device management type it's equals to MDM that means it goes to Intune it's managed by Intune I'm going to click save and click on create it successfully is created now let's search for that device oh here it is it's right at the top click on it it's going to take a few minutes before I can see all the members at it let's give a few minutes uh, I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back actually I don't have to pause the recording so the next step I'm going to do I will check back later about the computer members so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create configuration profiles so click on device or devices and then click on configuration profiles I'm going to create a new one select the platform it's going to be Windows 10 or later profiles it's going to be custom click on create I'm calling computer read name this profile will rename computers to serial number click on next all right so you have to add um, all my Yuri settings click on add let's give it a name here so the Amar Yuri's let's get a name computer rename so this one I don't think you can have space let's see no that's fine computer rename descriptions you can skip descriptions and on my Yuri's you're going to have to type in dot slash device slash vendor slash msft slash account slash domain slash computer name and the data type I'm going to use the strings and it's going to I'm going to give it a prefix um, just say I'm just gonna call this um, cloud dash and it's going to be serial number so my so the computer will be renamed to cloud dash serial number click on add click next next again oops my bad let's go back here so select the group I'm going to select the group that I just created which is computer rename select it click on select you can also select all computer groups or you can just exclude groups all right now I'm going to click next 
applicability rules is not required here so I'm going to click next going to create so as you can see the device configurations has now been created let's go back here to the device and go into configuration profiles here it is if you click on it it's going to tell you that it's been deployed or assigned to one group now let's go back to the device and look at the I'm sorry go back to groups and let's look for that um, group I created computer rename as you can see now I do have six devices shows up here so these devices will get renamed and go back to the device and configuration profiles let's look at device status so it has not received the policy yet I'm going to log into one of my test device let's see which one I want to log into let's log into 05 I can't log in. Let's see. All right, so I'm logging to 006. Let's go to the company portal. Oh, never mind I don't have company portal installed here let's go to settings click on the account so as you can see here it's connected to this test account let's go to control panel I'm just going to type in control panel let's click on system So as you can see here, the device has not been renamed. Let's go to the um, the um, Intune portal. Let's click on this. Let's force the sync. Sync. Let's wait a few minutes and then um, we'll look at to see if the device get renamed. All right, now let's go back here and look at the system. And as you can see here, it's a computer name. We'll change to cloud and then the serial number. Looks like the serial number is too long and it got truncated to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's a um, limitations in character or uh, in um, yeah characters so the one two three four five six seven so that's the thing is 15 let's re reboot it click on restart so 
Let's go back to control panel. Oop. Here it is. And system. There it is, the name, and let's go back to the console. Let's go to all devices, refresh. So the 06 has not reported to the console yet. It's going to take some time. We can sync it. Let's refresh again. So it takes a few minutes. Um, let's look at the compli uh, configuration profiles. So I see an error here. Actually, this error doesn't mean anything. Um, it's probably going to tell you that you need to reboot. Yeah, there's no error here. So I'm just going to wait and see if the computer device, I mean, if the device will get renamed. Let's pause the recording and we'll come back. Okay, so I just forced the sync um, on the workstations. So once you log in or re-log in, and then it's going to take some time, but if you force the sync, let's go look at the, um, the device name, all devices. And as you can see here, the device name has been renamed. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.